Hey guys, this is the Gameplay Goon here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the latest version of Kura, which is version 2.5 with the Anet A3 3D printer. Um, version 14.07 comes bundled with the printer, uh, which is an, a really, really old version of Kura. Um, it does work okay, um, but it's a little slow um, and doesn't have some, some of the nice features that the newer version of Kura has. So. I'm going to show you how to um, use the latest version of Kura and configure it to work with the Anet A3. Um, it's really simple, but for those of you who are not sure, I'm going to show you how to do it. So you want to come over to Google and type in um, Kura. Go to the main website. Wait for this to load. So we want to go to Products, Kura Software. There we go. So here we have Kura 2.5, this is 64 bit. You want to download this somewhere. Let's wait for this to download. Now, one thing I noticed we're using the latest version of Kura is models seem to load in faster. Um, it doesn't seem to lock up when you're dealing with larger complex models, which the older version of Kura seemed to do. Um, Kura, uh, the newest version of Kura also seems to have some nice features with automatically scaling your models to fit on your print bed and also some nicer features for rotating your models. So let's get through this pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to tick this box, open object files of Kura, uh, install. Okay, so the install is complete. Let's open up Kura. Okay, this has my settings saved from last time. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and enter them in again for you. So we need to go to settings, printer, you'll see I already have a profile here, but we're going to add a new printer. Uh, we're going to go to custom, let's give this a name, Anet A3 3D printer, you can call yours whatever you want. We're going to set the printer settings to 150. 150, 150, tick heated bed. Um, we're going to set all of these settings to zero, the printhead settings, gantry height to zero. We're going to leave the nozzle size at 0 0.4. Bill plate shape should be set to rectangular. Machine center zero is off. Um, G code flavor set to rip wrap Merlin sprinter. So all you need to do is copy my settings hit finish so that part's done now all you have to do um, is enter the profile configuration um, for the Anet A3 so we go down to um, profiles you'll see that I already have one here um, I can't actually get rid of this one okay let's just import a new, a new copy so we're going to navigate to the configuration file. I'll put a link to this in the description, but it, uh, this will come with your software package for your 3D printer anyway. Um, and I'll also put a link to Kura. So we're going to open this configuration file. We're going to get a message saying successfully imported. And that's pretty much it. So anytime you start up Kura, what you need to do is make sure that your print uh, your printer setting is selected up here um, and your profile you need to set to um, your imported profile this is the default profile for PLA um, you will need different settings if you're going to be printing with different filaments I'll just run you through some basic settings this layer height setting is very important if you want really fine detail you're printing a really complex model you want to set this to 0 0.1 millimeters um, infill density is quite important. Um, it's not really needed a lot of the time unless you want um, 
a lot of strength in your model. I normally set this to 0% um, as long as the, the model that you're printing doesn't have really really thin walls this is not normally a problem. Then you have print speed and travel speed which I wouldn't really mess with um, unless you're doing simple prints. And then you have support down here. Um, let's go ahead and add um, a model we can play around with. So let's go over to Thingiverse and let's download a model. So let's download the Hulk as an example. Download to the desktop. So our file's downloaded. Uh, we're going to extract it to a folder. Let's go back into Cura, hit open file, navigate to our desktop, uh, into the folder, files, the main 3D project file, hit open. You'll see that um, this is too big for our print area, so what we need to do is come over to the side here, hit scale. Um, you can select whatever size you want, but I'll be going with 40% then scales and puts them onto the print bed. You can see we have an estimated time down here of the print. I would use this time loosely as a guide. It's not always accurate. I've done prints, for instance, I said they were going to be 10 hours and they were 13 hours. So you should really only use this as a guide. Um, if you want to see how your support settings are going to work, you can enable support here. Go into your view mode and hit layers and just go ahead and wait for this to load and then you'll see the areas that will have support added to them which is very useful and then from here you can save the file um, or you can insert your SD card and hit save to SD so this is just a really simple guide um, you can fiddle with lots of different settings but just bear in mind as I said this profile is only for PLA um, if you're going to be using different filaments you will need to adjust your settings. Thank you guys.